Today's November 2nd. This is a T-bone set. Uh, John Graham's Cat Creek Bait, Super Bonanza. I'm trying his new uh, T-bone special. Had a, a ditch tiger in it, feral cat here, last check. We remade the set, didn't move the trap. Uh, and we'll probably move the trap this time. It's gonna be all hard to blend it in. So I'll probably pull the trap out to this outer edge here. It's still kind of in line with this dead pit over there. And of course we're on the edge of this edge line, tree line. So, all right, that's uh, second red fox, but first one I'll be able to scan. So kind of happy about that. See you guys down the line. So there's the remake. Uh, got our T-bone, a little buried bait on it. I put a uh, shot of urine on the outside rock. Super Bonanza T-bone special on top of the T-bone. And we tried to blend it in. We moved the dirt from the catch circle to bury the T-bone. So we got a lot of fox smell. Took a couple droppings, put them right there. Of course, the trap's right there. They ought to be able to walk through there. We'll come up and take a look. Um, we'll see. They may work it from this side. That's why I got that other piece of lure over there. Pull them onto the trap. Uh, I really expect to catch another fox here. Could get a coyote though, but um, we just they're still digging right here, so disturbing stuff it tends to scare the coyotes away. But uh, fox aren't as leery as coyotes. So we'll see. Well, landowner will be glad to get this guy. <laughs> Don't like the way they dig up fields. <laughs> I'm very happy. All right, all right. Come on, Gunner. This puppy wants to get down. So we put a dirt hole in here. I think I'll probably try and remake that set, sorta. But I'm gonna put in probably a fresh dirt hole right here. We'll do something a little different with that. In case there's any other badger around. And this is a dirt hole over here. And I had high hopes for this. There's a lot of coyote manure. I put some of it at the set. You might still be able to see some here but it's just crossing looks like a young pup so that's good all right guys get them remade so you see that coyote out on the point there's a little pond there and it's wet around so that point jets out and I put a trap up there also there's a little trail going down where I thought maybe they're going in to get water there so got a coyote there pretty happy with that this is down this long lane and the fence line. This was a dirt hole, Hiawatha Valley Bay. Go figure. So, all right, guys, shape up and be a real good day here. Boy, well, it's cracking up to be a real good day. We got another one here. This is uh, the fence line goes in corners. A little bit of wetland over here, so this just makes an angle. Right back there's that little tip out that had the last coyote on it. That's like a long. And I'll have to look. I'm not sure what this set was. Probably a dirt hole. Nice. Looks like it's gonna be a heavy coyote. So that's good. Still dark. We get a lot of dark coyotes here. All right, guys. Okay, so there's my remake. Real great video, but uh, dirt hole. Put the droppings from the coyote there. Got lure there, lure there. This was a Violator 7 GH2. And then uh, it's the first coyote I've caught on this, the new one I'm trying. It's Payne's Sperm Up. A uh, guy recommended on the video by uh, Payne and uh, Liesel, I think. I forget who the two guys in the video were, but another video I got to watch. And he said it was working pretty good for him, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Always interested in trying new lures, so. That's the remake. Got a wad of grass down the hole. So, I'm gonna dig for it, pull that out in order to get the bait, keep some birds from robbing it. See you guys down the line. Well, it looks like a nice dog right there. I was gonna pull this set, and I've got one up over at the corner of the fence. I was gonna pull it. Now, what do you think we ought to do? Just kind of a pain to drive up here where I can just check everything else from down there. I think I'm. Well, maybe I'll remake this one because I should be able to glass it from down there. Only come up to relure it. And I'll pull the other one. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, this trap's dirty. You don't want to use it somewhere else, anyways. Uh, cat creek bait. Super bonanza. That special. That 
an existing fox for that today, so good deal. Dumb line, guys. Bear with me, guys. I don't have a cameraman. So, here's a screen. This one got bit in my bag. This is how I put them on the trap. I had a guy ask me a question about them. Um, so I usually try and bend them, tuck them, and I like my screens there and there. And you'll see there's a little bit of a poof there. I can get rid of that if you've got a straight non-bent screen by just leaving this jaw up a little bit higher and not pushing it down over it. If you leave that up higher, it'll just set like that. Also, if you make the screen narrower, then it doesn't get this bend in it so much at these corners, and that'll take care of some of that too. Um, basically, I don't care that much. By the time I put dirt on this, um, I'll just show you, it doesn't take much. By the time you put dirt on this, it, it preloads it. That cow put any pressure on there, that sucker goes off. This one being bent, I might prop this one jaw up just a hair. I don't, you know, you're killing, you're closing down your kill space, but if the jaw's up a little bit, let me just get out a different screen to show you. So here's a straighter screen, not all bent up. See how that lays just flat? There's no no uh, bubble there. Even if I push it down, you get a little tiny bit maybe. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this up, bent up screen because I can make it work here. That's how I do it. A guy can just cut them. Um, can just cut them and have them lay inside if you want. Uh, but I'll do that and then put my wax dirt over it. Um, and that'll be my set, making a T-bone set here in the road. There's some droppings, coyote droppings right there. Alright, I hope that helps you guys out a little bit.